Who from the cast watches sex education with his parents? Whose on-screen love interest happens to be his real interest, too? And which cast member went so crazy about her character that she even stole a full-sized poster of her? Hi, I'm Dylan, and we're ready to reveal the secrets of Sex Education's cast. Emma Mackey keeps having random mums coming up to her in the street, saying things like, Thank you so much, you helped me talk about sex to my sons. And this is the biggest joy for the actress who plays Maeve. Who, by the way, wasn't at all cool during her high school years. Emma shared that she was much more like Otis, dorky and more into books rather than relationships. Maeve is definitely Mackie's breakout role. And in the first season, she already earned around $10,000 per episode. Not bad for a starter, right? But such a big project wasn't so easy for the star. She may come off as a badass, but the actress was really nervous at the beginning. I mean, I was shitting myself on that first day, she confessed. Behind the pink hair, many piercings, and super confident behavior is a pretty humble Franco-British girl raised in a traditional Catholic family. Emma states that the series gave her real confidence and let her talk about things she never would have spoken of before. Besides acting, Emma seems to enjoy her relationship with boyfriend Dan Whitlam, who is also an aspiring actor. For more than two years, Mackie has occasionally been sharing romantic shots of the two of them on her Instagram. Besides the second season of Sex Education, Mackie will also appear in the detective thriller Death on the Nile, alongside Gal Gadot and Letito Wright. And following that, we will see her in two other big budget movies, The Winter Lake and Eiffel. Next, we have another rebellion, Adam Groff, whose story is full of breakdowns. Turns out Connor Swindle's upbringing wasn't easy as well. When he was only seven years old, his mother died. To deal with the pain, Connor became an avid boxer. And only later, he found that acting was also a helpful tool for dealing with his feelings. Like many others, Connor never imagined sex education would be such a hit, but when the first person that recognized him on the street happened to be a 50-year-old guy, Swindles realized that the show was going to be big and an inspiration to not only 16-year-old kids. Unlike his character Adam, Connor is a very calm and quiet person, and that actually created some difficulties when he needed to play a bully full of anger. Gotwa even thought that Swindles hated him at first, but as it turns out, he was just really nervous about the intimate scenes. When Gotwa gets nervous, he gets louder, and when I get nervous, I get quieter. He did not get me whatsoever, and he was very anxious about doing intimate scenes with someone who wasn't putting themselves out there, Connor revealed. Yikes! Fortunately, they both got past the awkwardness and actually became really good pals later on. But sex education helped Connor not only find new friends, but a new girlfriend. Who could that be? Amy, you all right? I've been wanking all night. I ate four packets of crumpets and I think my clip might drop off. Yep, Adam's hilarious ex-girlfriend. Amy Lou Wood and Connor Swindles fell in love right on set and didn't hide their relationship from the media. Seems the co-stars are in a much happier relationship than their teenage characters were. But there's something Amy does have in common with her sex education character. Just like Amy, the actress's knowledge about sex in high school was sadly poor, and speaking about wanking was a total taboo for her. But besides acting, Amy is busy developing her other talents, which are surprisingly varied. Her special skills include writing, stage combat, singing soprano, flamenco dancing, and stand-up comedy. By the way, her stand-up comedy skills almost led to Amy auditioning for another funny and weird character in the cast. Can you guess who I'm talking about? Wait, sorry, who are you? Whoever you want me to be. Also, I'm Lily. Tanya Reynolds definitely made Lily a memorable person. Probably because Tanya finds Lily a very precious character to portray. Reynolds shared that she would have loved to see such a character on TV when she was a teenager. Lily is so okay with herself, and she thunders ahead with this concrete inner confidence, which is something I've just never really had, the actress revealed. And even though Tanya has already starred in several TV shows, such as The Bisexual, Delicious, and Death in Paradise, she finds her role on sex education the most valuable one. In fact, she's so crazy about her Lily that during the promo of season two, when Reynolds saw a full-sized poster of her character, she grabbed it for her bedroom wall. Another fan of his character is Shuri Gatwa. Okay, let's face it. 
Most of the time when we meet a gay character on TV, they're gay only for the sake of being gay. Meaning, they're written in a very stereotypical way, without a thought through personality. But that is not the case with Eric. He has his own journey and a character with unique flaws and virtues. And that is what Shudi Gatwa loved about his role, as this is definitely not the classic coming out story. It's not him trying to figure out what his sexuality is. He knows it, and the school knows it, and his family knows it. It's about him figuring out how he's going to walk in a world that's not always going to be nice to him, shares the actor about his character. But we must admit that all this great writing wouldn't work without the brilliance of Gatwa's acting skills. By the way. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Maybe I am learning from my brave son. By the way, who didn't shed a tear during this overwhelming moment? Turns out, Gatwa mastered his acting skills nowhere else than at the iconic Shakespeare Globe Theater. But actually, it still wasn't enough to make Gatwa feel comfortable enough about the role of Eric, so he decided to buy a whole eyeshadow kit and learned how to do his own makeup. Seems that worked out just fine. And eventually, the Netflix show totally changed the actor's life, especially in terms of fame. I hopped onto a plane with 500 Instagram followers, he says of the day sex education was released. Eight hours later, I hopped off the plane with a couple hundred thousand. Perhaps that insane jump suddenly made him so private about his own sexuality and anything concerning his private life. His co-star Keeter William Sterling has the same policy concerning his intimate life. But one thing that we did find out about his intimate life is his flirting technique. Here's what you might hear if Keter aimed to win over your heart. Excuse me, do you mind if I get your mom's number? Just want to thank her for bringing you into my life. Oh, I <laughs> What the oh, hell? <laughs> is it too cheesy? As always, it's up to you to decide. So share your thoughts about it in the comments. Aside from his role of the hottie Jackson Marchetti, Keeter pleases his fans with sweet shots of himself with his dog and funny pics from his vacations. Plus, he spends time writing his own scripts and doesn't miss the opportunity to advise his followers on decent books to read, just like his sex education friend Patricia Allison does in her Insta videos. Allison adores her character on the show, as she finds her very similar to her own self. Ola is a feminist with a passion for creativity in all its aspects just like Patricia. However, her favorite character on Sex Education is someone else. It's Lily. Allison finds Reynolds' character brilliant and can't watch her without laughing out loud. <laughs> Who doesn't? Patricia would love to create characters for the show by herself. She explains that her future stories would most probably involve mixed race issues. Other than that, the actress confessed that unlike her character, in real life, she loves cats and goats. In case you forgot, Otis rashly compared his potential girlfriend to a goat and then to a skinny house cat while calling Maeve a beautiful lion. A fatal mistake. But we all know Otis has this crazy ability of saving his neck. And what about the actor behind the main character? Is he as lucky? Asa Butterfield's career has already made him a millionaire. According to his earnings from last year, his net worth is close to $5 million. And heaven knows it's only the beginning. Butterfield made his major breakthrough at the age of 10 as the lead boy in The Striped Pajamas. His other famous credits include Hugo, Ender's Game, and Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And now he's a world-famous sex therapist. By the way, Asa admitted that his whole family, including his grandmother, had watched the series. More so, he loves to watch it together with them and, overall, finds his performance in the show rather liberating. But with fame and his first millions came massive relationship rumors. Some claim that Asa was engaged to his Miss Peregrine's home co-star Ella Purnell. And even though the two did date a little, tabloids turned their little romance into a dramatic saga. Then he was rumored to be dating his other co-star Haley Steinfeld. But when that didn't work out, the press spread the silliest news about Asa being in a relationship with Nina Dobrev. All because of this tiny photo of the two having fun. It's still a total mystery who is really dating the 22-year-old Londoner, and it doesn't seem like we'll find out anytime soon. But what we can tell you already is who those mysterious newbies are in the second season. Let's start with Sami Otobali, who will play a new hottie on the show, Frenchman Rahim. And according to the trailer, he's going to be Eric's new love interest. 
So be prepared for the most unexpected gay love triangle in TV history. We know a little about the actor's background, as sex education is Ultavali's first appearance on an English language show. Earlier, he appeared on French TV, in the shows The Touche Family, Grown Ups, and Mortel. Another fresh cast member is going to be Isaac, portrayed by George Robinson. He will mostly be connected to Maeve, as he'll become a new resident at Maeve's Caravan Park. This is by far Robinson's biggest role, as he is still a student at the University of Birmingham. At last, we will also meet a new brainy girl named Viv, portrayed by Chinai Azodu, who will be having her first major role on TV. Her character Viv has one of the highest IQs at the school, but when it comes to love, she seems totally helpless. What are your expectations about Season 2? Share them with us, and as always, thanks for staying awesome!